update the Twitch page. Make sure everything is in order. Double check my alerts. That was almost in sync. <laughs> That was, that was more in sync than I was planning on it. But I'm not going to complain. Alright, we're going to hop into it. So I feel a bit like an idiot, uh, I was going to say, until it crashed. Um... Because I looked up last night where that mine was that we were trying to find for the past last half hour of the stream. And I found it. And, uh... Well, we walked right past it. So... As soon as the game... Loads up again, and hopefully not crashes... We'll, uh... We'll be heading straight there. Without, uh do anything, anything else. And then, uh, so we'll head there. We'll go up to clear some necromancers, I believe, out of the dungeon known as Voss, which I don't know, remember if it's a tower or whatnot. Uh, and then I think we might actually head to Ghostgate. We have one or two quests there uh, no, we have one quest there. And we have, we have to, for the Legion, we have to convince the buoyant Agamirs that we are courteous. And so I have a book of riddles, uh, for that. Our health is low. Before we go into the mine here, Let's just take a quick break. Just rest. Just take a few hours rest. And, uh... Heal up a bit. Get some Magicka back. I'm gonna alt-tab again. Because Twitch isn't fully initialized. There we go. Basically, on my Twitch page, if I don't see the actual watching now number, I won't have active chat. Which is unfortunate. For how that works. And that number does not pop up immediately as a zero until roughly one person joins. And then it goes zero to one really quick. And then I just gotta refresh the Twitch page, so. I wouldn't be so anxious about it, but Morrowind really does not like alt tabs. So, let's try casting the spell a bit on our way there. It'll help restore a little bit of our health, not much. Restoration skill is at 18. Are we actually ready to level to level 16? Oh no, we're close. We are close. Oh, let's see. It looks okay. I was trying to remember what attribute restoration was based on, and it's based on willpower. Our willpower is decently high. It's 50, so it's not bad. Not bad at all. Which is good to know. We do have a 61% chance of casting this spell at the moment, so. It's getting better. Interesting change in animation between first and third person. Hmm. 
119 health. Okay. We do have quite a bit. That was not an accuracy issue, that was just a range issue. Oh, like that's a camp. I just saw the one person standing there. I'm like, are they challenging me? So if we look on the local map here. We went north east of there like we were like we were supposed to. And I'll show you guys where where the mine actually is. So we hopped off on the backside of the complex here. We hopped off and went off to the northeast there. Had we adjusted our view ever so slightly, we would have seen the mine right there. Literally, there's a road going to it. When I when I saw it on the map, when I looked it up last night, I just felt so stupid. There's there's a road that goes right to the mine, and it is directly northwest, maybe a little bit further north than west, but pretty much straight northwest from that compound. I just assumed, I guess, that it was farther away. Nope, it's just right here. Plus mine. Um. Let's, uh. Store health cheap. Before we go uh, into the mine, I do want to double check what we're actually facing in there. Plus mine. Told me to go to plus mine and do what Navoro Deathrin says is. I don't even know what's in there. So if I was about Nyx Hounds getting loose and attacking the matter. Okay, so it's probably just some blighted Nyx Hounds or something. Shouldn't be that bad, actually. Lady, why aren't you wearing a shirt? Same with you, dude. You guys are mining raw glass in here? It's actually kind of impressive you have a raw glass mine outside the Ashlands. <sighs> Greetings. Are you here to help? I've been having some problems here in the Diplossa mine. Disapala mine. A pack of Nick sounds was attacking my miners. We thought one of the miners uh, was lost at first, but she turned up safe. Our healer, Terrace Othron, went down to look for her and hasn't come back. Uh, we do go down into the mines and bring back the healer if he still lives. I'd go myself, but I should stay here to protect the miners if the Nyx Hounds come back this way. Yeah, I can do that. No problem. You can tell me about the pack of Nyx Hounds. A pack of them is loose here in the mine, causing all sorts of trouble. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. What are you doing? Are you just on rapid patrol? What say you? What well, says me? I says I'm gonna solve your problem. I mean, you have a guard. You have an Imperial soldier. Surely he can take on some Nyx hounds. You don't have anything about the quest. Alright. This is a cool mine. I like the layout of it. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for uh, harvesting the raw glass. So, I'm not going to. Also, I don't really need raw glass. I could sell it. 
You don't have the tools to do anything with this. Oh, I actually need tools. I haven't done mining in Morrowind, so I didn't really know. There's also one up here, though. Ah, you're the... Yes, we'll travel back to the mine entrance. Uh, we'll travel back at least a little bit of the way there. Let's travel together. Follow me. So, he said a pack in Nick Sounds, but I only see two. Are there... Yep, there's another one. Come here. Where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna bring you back. So let's do that first. Actually, you... Just could you... Wait here. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna go deal with these Nick sounds just so they don't... Potentially... Excuse me. Injure the other miners. So let's, uh... Solve this problem once and for all. Come here. You're not supposed to be in this cave. And then the main thing theme drums up again. Oh. I guess I wasn't supposed to walk along that. Um, maybe he'll be able to path down this, maybe not. Looks like he can. That actually makes it really easy. Dude, why couldn't you have helped? I mean, you're hired for protection, right? I'm assuming. And we're just talking Nick sounds here. We're not talking anything Thank crazy. You. Yes. Thank you. Oh, he gave me four raw glass. All right, that's a nice, handy reward. Thank you for restoring Terrace, Othran. I don't have anything to offer you except this raw glass, of course. Thank you. I mean, it's a nice gift. I can hopefully make it into some, I was just saying nice weapons, but I already have a glass sword, two glass swords, and that's what I'm used for. Used to. Uh, so we are going to do another one of the quests. Plus of Mines. Uh, I need to go back to Cedrith Mora for that. Uh, Necromancer of Voss. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Cedrith Mora. Turn in this Fighter's Guild quest. Get another Fighter's Guild quest. And then, depending on where that is in relation to where Voss is, we'll probably take a boat up to Dagonfell. And we'll head over to Voss from there. So first order of business is get back to Sadrath Mora. Which Divine Intervention School would probably do for me if I had any. I believe I've used the last of mine. I should probably stop by the Imperial Cult and pick up some more. Alright. So we're just going to try an island hop, I think, over to Seth with more. Shouldn't be that bad. I mean, it's going to be early morning by the time we get there, if I had to guess. 
It's late afternoon now. I mean, it's probably almost... Yeah, it's six. See, it's even evening. But, uh... It'll probably be like 2 a.m. by the time we get to there. Shouldn't run the whole time. I do need to conserve my fatigue. I should just save the uh, running for while I'm swimming across the water faster. So I have to deal with less slaughterfish and droogs and the dregs of the deep. Not that they're an issue, just kind of obnoxious. Did you squeak at me, rat? He did. He did squeak at me. Alright, now... So I have an amulet of water walking. Don't need a helmet on right now. Let's let ourselves breathe a bit. Um, amulet of water walking. Which doesn't have that many charges, but should hopefully be good enough to get us where we need to go. If I can only use it once per crossing, that actually would be great. Alright, that worked out. Before I go any further, I do want to re-re-double check Twitch, make sure I'm getting chat updates. I'm paranoid. I'm sorry. Ignore the purple. Oh, you! You sneaky little vermin. So we've got a cave up here. I mean, on our way back, we may as well stop in the cave. It's, night is falling. I don't want to be traveling all night out in the wilderness, so let's seek shelter in this humble cave. I mean, I would, I would probably sleep near the entrance, but I don't know what's down here. I don't want to leave my back exposed to any potential dangers. Not when I can help it, at least. We got crystals, which leads me to think we have mages. Rogue Telvani, maybe? Oh, something even bigger. You, why, why are you coming out with the sword? Were you a mage, or were you just a crazy person? Amulet of Rest. Restore fatigue. One to five points for five points on... For five seconds on self. Not not the best amulet, but... Actually, it fetches a pretty good price. Um, vi Wild Viper Sword. I mean, the damage on it's good. I just don't have the carrying capacity. To care. And you did happen to land right on the Dramora. I don't know if it's a Jamora Lord or not, but she did land right on top of him. I can't loot him. Unless I dispose of her corpse. But if I dispose of her corpse, then I'm going to loot everything off of her, and I don't want to deal with the inventory management for that. So we'll just loot what she has up here. Rising Force, common soul gem, eh, chest with some common items. Oh, we found a muffin! Reading that right away. 
And another one? That's not a muffin. That's void essence. Don't eat void essence. It's not tasty. It's not a muffin. Alright, so we could sleep in the bed roll. If it comes to that. Uh, but I don't feel comfortable unless I've fully explored this area. Lock level 25, trapped. Um... Grab a journeyman's lockpick. Along with Caius's ring. Alright, and while our security is still boosted, probe. There we go. Not a problem at all. Take a cheap restore health. Helmet back on. Just in case there's more. Daedra y things down here. Yeah, we got a clan fear. Not too concerned about a clan fear, I can take them out. Clan fear run, I can take out in one hit. Nothing more than a bad memory. How bad of a memory is that? See, the, these guys are mages in here, I think. At least they're not wearing armor, but they also have enchanted weapons, and they're attacking with those, so... Hmm. They might not be mages. Maybe they're just Deja worshippers. It is possible. Um... What are those? Glass goblets. Not worth it. Take the soul gem. No. Not much here. What is that? Sweet pulp. No. Let's see, you have a greater soul gem. I'll take that. Baleful suffering. I'll take it. Feyfoken, that sells pretty good. A skull, don't need. Summon Flame Atronach, don't really need. Not gonna use. Nor am I gonna probably use the Lesser Domination. A Guar Skin Drum. Why do I... F Why does my memory tell me that that's a quest item? I know there's a drum that's a quest item. Why do I feel like that's this one? Oh, hey, look. We got Icy Mask and Lesser Daedric Slave. Okay, that's for 30 seconds. Okay, I thought it was different. The uh, scroll was a bit different. Level 40. I don't know... I should sell a bunch of these scrolls. I'm not going to use the vast majority of them. Hmm. I guess we'll attempt to open it with a master's lock. Great, Master's Lockpick has been used up. Uh, and I don't have a scroll open. Screw it. We're not going to open that chest. I'm not going to waste another Master's Lockpick on it. Um, we will rest until... I want to get an early start in the morning. Maybe 7 a.m., 6 a.m.? Or just 9 hours. Fully healed. And ready to move on and make our way back to set with Mora. Hmm. Nice little cave here. Nothing nothing too crazy, but just a few Daedra worshippers and some Daedra. At least I'm assuming they're Daedra worshippers. I don't know. They actually have names instead of just titles.
Let's go over the hill. See the sunrise. Oh, that's beautiful. Shining through the rocks there. Gorgeous. So if you're just joining us, uh, we are making our way over the islands here to back to Sadrath Mora to turn in a Fighter's Guild quest. Um, and then I'm going to be heading up to Dagon Fell and over to Voss to deal with some necromancers. Excuse me. What's that amulet of water walk in? There we go. Trying to remember what town this is. This might be Telarune. I think it's Telarune. It's one of the only Telvani island or Telvani towns that's not right next to the water. What is this place? Why is there an orc guard here? That seems odd for Telvani. This is the Festival Slave Market. That's I'm not in the business of buying slaves. Yeah, tell a rune. Okay, that's what I that's what I thought. Uh while we're here, I have some stuff I can probably sell to a merchant. So it's too early in the day, isn't it? Alright, we'll wait till eight. They open. Oh, I wish to barter with you. Uh, do you take that Dwemer axe? That was weighing me down, and that was kind of a pain to carry and lug across country. Um, how about books? Alright, and... Potions. There's some grief. I'll take 400. And is there anything you have that I want? Silence on target? I mean, that'd be useful. Store magic good cheap. Store health cheap. I'll take those, actually. And soul gem. You can have that lower... Those two lower quality ones. Give me 375 for all that. Thank you. Good, sir. You have a modest iron sword and some common soul gems and a note. Green lichen, muck, disease curing potions? Bildrin will pay well. Check with contacts. Shazra Grobug. Uh, orc names. So poetic. Uh, Telerune Tower entry. What place is this? This is the pot and plaster. Oh, the smith. Hmm. I don't expect you to have very fancy items, but who knows? Uh... You got some magical arrows. Ooh. Gray Shaft of Nonsense. Cast Silent. Ooh, that is... It sounds only for five seconds, but that that's nice. That is... Nice. Uh, I could use probably another Repair Hammer. If you please. Uh, where does shield go? What? Oh, I don't have a shield on me. My other shield is a Dwemer shield. I think the next shield I get would be like adamantum or something. Something really strong. Uh, I don't think I have anything to sell you. No, I don't have any more weapons. Could I, could I buy that for 60? 
No, 55. Alright, I think it's time to move on to get closer to Sadith Moor. We're only like two islands away. I can see the lighthouse and the ships from here. Sometimes in this game, when your view distance is enhanced via the graphics extender, it, you kind of question why they have means of, strict means of transportation between some of these places where you can see them pretty directly. And, and it becomes really apparent in like Skyrim. With, with the mountains and stuff, you get high enough on a mountain peak and be like, oh, I can see like four different places from here, four different cities. If they're this close together, why do we need transportation between them? Hmm. A wreck of a ship. I'm curious. Let's investigate. No skeletons. Doesn't seem to be haunted, at least not in the cabin. Let's check below decks. I'm not seeing the skeletons or ghosts, so it's not a haunted ship. It's in the sack. Nothing's in the sack. Oh, that's a ring bolt on the floor. I was wondering what that... Was I thought it was something I could pick up. Uh, pillows and five gold. All right, it's five more gold than I had yesterday. Nothing in the floating barrel and nothing under the stairs. All right. So I guess we'll see what's in the uh, lowest deck. Slaughterfish. Nothing too terribly difficult. We have an iron claymore and an iron dagger. Those are going to rust down here. Chitin spear or is that iron spear? That's chitin. Uh, that's iron short sword, steel axe, don't need, I'll take the void essence though, nothing much on this ship, I think that's one of the, the few problems that, uh, I don't remember how bad it was in Oblivion, but it's definitely an issue in Skyrim. How much loot the game throws at you that's useful. Like Morrowind, sure, you, you find a lot of stuff, but you don't pick up all of it because you know some of it's just useless and it's going to take up your, your carry weight. Whereas in Skyrim, there's tons of weapons and armor that they just throw at you all the time. And because you can get decent prices for them, actually, it's worth the sell. Whereas in this game, the weight is just too much for the weapons. You have to actually be very choosy if you're going to carry on weapons for selling. Alright, so we'll make our way back to Wolverine Hall. Alert the Fighters Guild there that uh, we cleared out the Nick Sound pack from the mine. I mean, it's not demeaning work. I mean, we're we're doing we're helping people. It's a bit easy, but can't always get the hard missions. Can't just ignore the easy ones either. OG Punchy, welcome to chat, welcome to the stream today, hope you are doing well. 
We're inside with Mora, gonna head to the Fighters Guild and turn in a quest. And then get a new one and see where that takes us. Where did I put that? I don't know where you put it. And then if uh if it's not near Sadath Mora here, then we'll be going up to Voss there to uh, deal with some necromancers. Alright, Fighters Guild. Hrundil. Yes, I... Here's my report. Sounds like everything went well. Here's your share of the contract. 250 gold. I'm not complaining. It's, it's, I'll take the gold. Though, the guy did pay me four raw glass to clear out his mind, so... It's a little bit better than your reward. Uh, advancement. I am the Guardian. That is my rank. Uh, I don't believe I can advance again. You can't advance... I can't advance you anymore, Guardian. For further advancement, you'll have to talk with Soldier Hardheart himself in Vivek. Ah, so I can now go talk with the other guy in Vivek for missions. Good to know. Uh, any more orders for me? There's a creature loose in the... In Barrow in the trader shop and tell Mora. Uh, there's two and septums in it for whoever takes care of the corpus stalker. There's also a contract for an outlaw nearby and other two and septums. Whoever brings Rel's Tenem to justice. Rel's Tenem? Hmm. He's a murderer who escaped from justice. He was see last seen near Vos... While you're taking care of the Corpus Stalker, you might want to see if you can track down him. Alright, what well, can you tell me about the Corpus Stalker? Go to tell Mora, the Corpus Stalker was trapped in Barrowin, the trader shop, last I heard. Alright. We are actually going to go do that instead of having straight to Vass, or Vos, Vos. Okay, so there's the city of V-O-S, Vo, Vos, I guess? Vos? And then there's the Necromancer Lair of Vos. We're going to go to both today, but we can catch a boat to one first. Um, and while we're walking there, we'll be what say you? training up restoration a bit with our mend spell. But I'm going to wait for our fatigue to restore a bit so we actually have a decent chance of casting the spell. It is literally the easiest and simplest restoration spell I could find. That was restore health. I, I, well, I made it. It restores one point of health on self. And it costs one magicka. And I still, at best, have like a 60% chance of casting it. Because my restoration is so dang low. We need to wear a helmet. We're in town. We're not ashamed of who we are. We are proud. We have good armor, good weapons, a decent reputation. And we're working on our reputation right now, doing miscellaneous quests and stuff. Helping the citizenry and... Fighting evil wherever it may lurk. Gad Curiosity, we're at 108 health and 135 magicka. 134, 109. Alright. Yep. Okay, so it, does, it is casting us one magicka even with failed. I thought that was the case, but the magicka bar was going down really slowly, so... It was a little hard to tell. Also, I'm really liking these gauntlets. These are very... Ignore my wrists that are horribly bent out of shape, but the gauntlets look nice. I don't know what the spikes on them... I don't know what purpose they serve besides just looking cool. 
I mean, I suppose they could help a bit if you're punching. They're like a little bit like uh, knuckle dusters, I guess. Except for the fact that if, if they're connected to the plate that's on top of your hand here, they're just going to move back as soon as you punch. And that, that's going to pull that whole plate. That, it's an inefficient way to place them. Now, if there are blades and you were going to strike with them, that would make, I think, a little bit more sense. Hey, restoration level. We are also ready for level up. Now, as my acrobatics, it is high enough I can get in the boat without TCL. I love the gr uh, bluish glow of the gemstone. This is the Talvani Council House. It looks spectacular. Uh, I wish to travel to Telmora. Alright. So, just quick check our journal. Uh, so, in Telmora, we want to find Berwin the Trader's Shop. Is that a trader's shop? There. I think that sign is for just a general trader. Let's double check. Nope, that's the Covenant. That is a... Probably a halfway tavern or halfway house or tavern, I meant to say. Uh, Elgamon Colothier? Hmm. Services. There's Braywin the Trade. Okay, you're not going to tell me where they are in town. I guess we'll just define them ourselves. It's no big deal. It's not like Telvani cities are a maze or anything. Hello? I really like what they did with the, the Wood Elf faces, with whatever mod I'm using for that. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but they look less silly. Like, she looks very serious. It might be the black demon eyes, but... I take her seriously. What's the rumors? Hmm. Smugglers around the coast here. A little advice... Mistress Dartha prefers female mercenaries and adventurers. Go see her. She may have some work for you. Alright, baby. A uh, little secret. Archmagister Gothrin doesn't live in Sabbath Mora. That might seem unusual for the head of a house. When you think of all the scheming wizards and assassins for hire in the city, you'll see it's a precaution. A more isolated tower is a more secure tower. And far easier to defend. That is sound tactical advice. Berwin, traitor. There's a Corpus Stalker in here, right? Are you here to get rid of the Corpus Stalker? Uh, we were able to trap it upstairs, but no one wants to risk disease by getting close to it. Normally, Master Aaron would take care of it, but he's been so busy lately. Hurry, please. It's wrecking my shop. I mean, your shop seems fine down there. Also, I love how they trapped it with just the crates. Not even behind a the door. They actually just physically used crates. It's dead. Thank you for dispatching the Corpus Stalker. You obviously have great skill. And gear. I mean, I, I'm not going to say I don't have great skill. I do. I also happen to have awesome gear, so there is that. Apothecary. I have stuff I can sell you. Jolda. Uh, yeah, so I wish to barter. Would you like um, some void salts, some frost salts? You're not going to take books, are you? No, you don't buy that item. Daedra skins? Alright. How about 
a danger heart. Can you give me 335? While I'm thinking about it, let's get some restore health potions. Uh, we'll just go for cheap. And quality. Don't anything beyond that. Um, could I pay 102? Alright, mercantilism. Level up as well. And now that I'm thinking about it, you buy more generic items, correct? You, you buy a lot. Um, what magical items do you have? You have a belt of charisma. I don't really need it, but it looks nice. A balm amulet, which is partially charged. Interesting. Lock. Don't need. All right. I'm going to sell you some books, though, because they're heavy. Uh, here, you can have some RK the Enemy. And Feyfoken. Incident in Necrom, Corpse Reparation. Uh, also, some Flynn. Um, we have this Night Eye Bargain, I haven't used it. Cure Paralysis, useful. Potion Telekinesis, useful. Water Walking, Reflect, don't need. A bargain restore fatigue at this point won't help. Uh, I have some restore magicka, restore strength is useful. Rising force, rising force. And I'll say the spell absorption. Why not? Uh, oh, I should sell you some scrolls. Like that. Alright. Here, could you pay me like 580 ish? 80 ish. There we go. Close enough. Alright. We'll probably do more selling of our goods over in Vos, which is. There. Alright. I don't know why I had to relook at the map to see it on the horizon. It's just right there. Am I blind? I think I'm blind. Alright. Now there's a outlaw in the city of Vos here, a murderer, that we are to bring to justice. I think we can do that. No, where would the murderer hide? I don't know. If they're trying to avoid the law, I don't think they'd be in the city. But then again, who knows? We'll just go see if we can figure out who... Find someone in charge who we can talk to. Out of curiosity, what is up here? Can't get up that way. That is a really inconvenient location for these stairs. Because you'd think they'd be on that side of the platform, because you get off the boat, and you get up here on the platform, and then you go up the stairs. But nope, you have to go all the way around. That's the Varro Trade House. Can't get in there, though. It's locked. But it wasn't locked with, like, the same... Oh, that's probably because that's the back door to the place. This looks like the main entrance. Of course it is. That's, yeah. Hi, Cozy. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream today. Hope you are doing well. Hope you had a good day. Uh, yes. What do I want? So... There's a dude here, Rels Tenem. A thief and an outlaw. He's stolen from some of the farmers in Vos. Check with some of the local farmers. Uh, you're sure that they know something. All right. What can you tell me about Vos? Vos is an old velocity farm village in the Grayslands. Dunmer have farmed here for centuries. Life's never been easy, and the Ashlanders have always raided and stolen our wickwheat and marshmallow. Marshmallow. 
uh, but our new Talvani Mage Lord, Master Aaron of Telvos, protects us from the Ashlanders, and he's grown us a very fine trade house and docks. Telvos is Master Aaron's wizard tower. It's very strange. You have to see it to understand. Master Aaron isn't afraid to try new things. That would be really cool to see in an Elder Scrolls game. See Tel a Tavani wizard actually grow a tower. Like, you see the finished product in, in this and Dragonborn DLC. But I want, I want to see the tower actually being grown. Then again, I don't know how long it takes. It may actually take centuries. Uh, and Tovani wizards are quite long-lived, so... Maybe they're just patient. Well, from what it sounded like, this stuff is pretty recent. Oh. Okay, shield on yourself. Seriously, you summoned a greater bone walker. To deal with that? Don't you have a weapon? Great. It's raining. Uh, what's your background? Are you a farmer? You... Rel Senem. Some local farmers. You are not a local farmer. Want some danger hearts? Because I got danger hearts to sell. How about amulets? I got amulets. How about creepy cursed amulets? Want one? It's yours. Uh, nope, nothing I want. Enjoy. You have a glass spear just sitting out on your table, lady. That's that's kind of brave. Um, do you happen to know where he is? Nope. Alright. And some glass throwing stars and Daedric arrows. Huh. I actually might buy some of those. I've never, I mean, I've, I have the ones that I have, but I haven't seen any more than that, so. May as well buy them while I can. I don't believe there's anything else that. I have that you want, or you have that I want. So we'll settle on the three Daedric Arrows. Are there any farmers in town? Or are they all out of town? Maybe the Argonian knows. Oh, someone's farmhouse. You're a farmer, then, I'm assuming. That's not too much to presume. Ren Tellum? Uh, Rels... Rels Tellum. Yes, that's the pronunciation I was going for. He's a bandit. He stole some guar and some crops. I don't know what else... Uh, I don't know where he is now, but... Amasu might know. Check at Amasu's camp. Uh, oh. Check at the Ashlander camp. Can they grow underground housing? I think... I mean, these aren't grown, obviously. But I believe... There's the camp, actually. Um, so the castle up here... That has been overgrown with... Uh, this is one of the coolest places in the game right here, especially if you have levitation to get around much easier. It's an old imperial castle. Just surrounded by these giant plants. So cool. Uh, but I believe there's sections of this where it's underground and you are inside of the plant. I believe so. Uh, I don't know for sure. I just I don't remember for sure. Alright, we'll go to the Ashlander camp. Come here. 
and see what they can say about this bandit who's been stealing people's crops and their guar. My guess is there's a good chance that he actually is an Ashlander. Or he's tricked the Ashlanders and they're protecting him. Unknowingly. I have no prior knowledge, so I don't know. That's just what my gut tells me. I saw you coming, rat. I'm fraught with danger on all sides. But I face it head on with my blade. Also, it's a Daedric Longsword. Or Daedric uh, Nodoshi. So, uh, Dai Katana. It is indeed, Jacob. It is indeed. Well, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream today. Tonight, I hope you are doing well. And, uh, I hope that I can take your mind off the troubles of the world for at least a, a short while. While you're watching. Uh, alright, let's see. Do any of you know where the Guar thief is? I mean, there's a pack Guar. Also, guys, I looked it up on Bethesda's website, on their store. You can get plush Guar. They have little packs. They're, they're basically little pack Guar plushies. I want one. Uh,. Rel's Tenon. A man went to the cavern of Shalit on a small island southwest of Ald Daedroth. Ald Daedroth, that's interesting. He left at night when neither Mesa nor Secunda could be seen. Perhaps this is the man you seek. To get there, cross the water first uh, to the first island north of the camp. From that island, travel northwest. Two more islands. On the second island's north side is the end. Okay. Hmm. I mean, C drive, isn't that the default? For Windows, at least? Unless you've, you've changed it yourself. To boot to a different one. Because I've always thought that C drive is the default drive. Alright, so if I had to guess... Look at the map. That island right there. You changed it to GG. So basically what it, what I have a feeling is your computer is just trying to go back to normal or whatever. Minus whatever change you did. Which is unfortunate. I have my G drive is my uh, half of my drive is partitioned off as G. And that's where all my games are. On that half. Oh, OS is on one side. Games on the other. I was just a two terabyte drive. Don't have solid state. Next computer, I might have solid state, but uh, I've been working fine without it. So, all right. So first island north, which would be this one, and then it's two islands northwest. That's a lot of drives. I have one hard drive technically in this machine, just partitioned in half. Well, roughly one terabyte on each partition. And it's served me well for the past almost four years now? Alright. There's a camp. Hmm. And let me guess. They're going to come after me. Oh, that... I don't think these are Ashlanders. No? Maybe they are. Ow! They're casting the same... Really painful spells. Ow! 
Okay, I don't like where this is going. Um... Okay, that is obnoxious. Ow! Seriously, you are one very strong mage that I am way underestimating. Seriously. That was way more difficult of a fight than I was Maribel. You had some... Okay, you are not an Ashlander like I was assuming at first. He left me. My dear Scorvild, he told me he can't return. He told me I can't return. That I... But I have to live out my days on this forsaken island. But does he know that I have other plans? If he only knew, the people of Vardenfell shall fear me. Me! Morrow. It's not a very threatening name. Nor to troll bone helm. I'll take it. Wooden staff of toxic cloud. Uh, yeah, uh, that weighs a lot, very little, and uh, it's very valuable. Oh look, you were a necromancer, of course, because the Nordic Trollbone helm definitely sort of hinted at that. Um, but it is late. Let's rest here for the night. Let's go eight hours. And there we go! A leveling up to level 16. You've been trying too hard. Thank you too much. Relax. Trust your instincts. Just be yourself. And do the little things. It's the big things that take care of themselves. Wow, that is a very even spread of things. So, for sure we want strength. Now that we're actually doing restoration, I want to bump up uh, willpower. And... Hmm, speed, endurance, or personality. Personality, I think, is high enough. We have plenty of stuff to buff that with the moon and star ring. Uh, speed, it's always nice to travel faster, and endurance is already decently high. Uh, health gain per level is fine. We're gonna do speed just to get a, bit, a little bit faster. So we now have 124 health, still 40 magicka. Because our strength buff with the gauntlets is ridiculous. Our agility is fine. Bar is fine. We have a... Now 64% chance of casting this spell. I'll take it. And while... While we're walking, I'll cast it. Hopefully the spell spamming isn't too annoying for you guys. If it, if it is too annoying, just let me know and I'll think of a better way to train. Like paying money. <laughs> But I'm trying to be cheap right now as to uh, preserve my ability. Ooh, that looks like a place where someone took a boat to hide. I'm trying to save money so I can then make a really, really nice magical amulet. Um. Can't get me up here, fishes. Yeah, that that are, there is that, Jacob. There is that. Uh, I played chivalry a bit. I, I didn't play a crazy amount of it, but uh, I definitely enjoyed my time with it on on PC. I don't know how it plays on on com with a controller, but it plays well on with a keyboard and mouse. That's an ancestral tomb. That is not. 
the island that I needed. Out of curiosity, what do these guys have to say about anything? Are they? I bet these guys are smugglers. Oh, you got a, you got a big strong Nord here. Yeah, it looks like we have a band of Nord smugglers with a bear helm and trollbone greaves, trollbone pauldrons, iron, Nordic iron, that Nordic claymore. We're going to grab that. I just like the look of them. They're probably one of my favorite looking weapons in the game. Yep, your Nordic broadsword as well. Definitely seems to be some smugglers. Nord Mead, interesting. Gold. Take the soul gem. Can't open that. Not yet, at least. All right, let's see what they have on the ship. That is Talvani resin. All right, that's worth a bit. Shine, grief, and sajama. No, okay, we'll take that. I don't know why you'd leave your bed rolls. Uh, I guess so. Oh, great. Storm's blowing in really strong. Uh, I thought this might have been the island, but they mentioned that the cave was on the north side of the island. It could still be this island. Because it said go one island north and then two islands to the northwest. And it's on the north side of the second island. So, the second island to the northwest. That's the, I wouldn't say mainland, but that's the main big island. It's not going to be there. Calm down, lightning. Calm down. So, is it on the north side of this island? I doubt there would be, that, that's, because I saw the tomb there, I doubt there's going to be a second entrance. Do any sort of uh, cave on this island, but I could be wrong. There, I was wrong. It is right here. Wow, I almost missed that. So the directions were very accurate. All right. Actually, kind of a nice surprise. A lot of fatigue to restore, but we have light to cast in the meantime. This cave is pretty dark. Though, supposedly only one guy. Hmm. Note to Gideon. Gideon? Gideon, here's a blade for the new man. Send him ahead and we'll set up his arrangements. Dinner is waiting, but not for you. Uh, Muvela, Muverla is sick again, so you've drawn sentry duty. Don't worry, you'll be getting a portion of his share. Stay alert, bounty hunters are seeking us, but I feel fairly secure up here. Alright, alright. Looks like someone ignored uh, the sword... When they're supposed to be on watch. So that, uh, definitely lets me know that there's not just one person here. There's gonna be probably multiple people. But I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. As long as they're not like that mage from earlier. 
Though, if there was just one like that mage, I'd be fine. Several. And then we're getting into problems. Wow, this place is huge. Ah, I bet, I bet it actually connects with the ancestral tomb. Where are all of them? I guess they're in the tomb there. We get a chest with a silver spark axe. Don't need rising force bargain. Because the game's giving me that and a muffin. I have a feeling oh, we'll need some levitation. Tonto. Steel Tower Shield. I was gonna say, why do I have a bad feeling about this, but no one can match me. Oh. Oh. Wow, you take a lot of hits. Uh Marara's ring. All right. Wait a second. No, that's a different person. But constant effect. Reflect 10% on self. Fortify acrobatics 5 points. And resist normal weapons 20. That's, uh, that's a nice ring. If we're not wearing moon and star, we're going to be wearing that. And a greater skeleton warrior with an orcish warhammer, which we don't really have the carry capacity to take with us. Eh. I suppose there's a sapphire here, but not much. Oh, that was mean. You trap a chest and then you don't put anything in it? Silly vampires. Probably actually restore some health. Before we move on. Oh. That's there. These guys aren't the guy I was supposed to kill, right? Oh, I know. I know. I, I know where I need to go. The game is being tricky. Oh, hey, Bone Lord. Bone Lords are so, so cool. I wish they were in other Elder Scrolls games, but they're not. Alright, they're still dead. Oh, that was the fire. I was, I was confused there for a second. So, the Rising Force potions... ...reminded me... ...that when I was near the entrance here, where I saw the note... Uh, ...there was what looked like a ledge that I could float up to... ...with some levitation. And I just remembered that I have pants of levitation. Yeah, there's the... Check the... Oh, I didn't check that barrel. Soul gem, please. Yeah, right up there. Now, what are those? They are... Travel-stained pants. Alright, and then we'll use the light ring again. No, that's amulet of light. So we can see. Figured they're hiding up here, possibly to hide from the vampire. I mean, if I was them, I'd be hiding from a vampire up here. Just in case things don't go well. 
There is no escape. I didn't know if she was hostile or not. She didn't immediately attack me. There is no escape. <laughs> All right. Uh, that ambulance done. Let's try this one. Wow, that's a lot of potions. A chest with crap in it. I mean, you had a viper axe, but nothing really beyond that. I can open that. Scroll of healing, I'll take that. Junk. I'll take the soul gem. Now this chest. Journeyman's lockpick using Caius's ring. Oh, there we go. I was gonna complain, but then we actually got it. Um, take the gold. No, all of the gold. Mm, all right. What weapon is that? A light staff. Huh. All right. I can sell it for a good amount. Speaking of light. Do I still have that other ring on? I do. I do have the other ring. Pull out your actual weapon. You will suffer. Okay, for a second there, I thought her steel claymore was Chrysomere. Just for a second. There's Gideon. Where is the main guy that I'm sent to kill? Or did I already kill him? Nope, there's another door. Okay. Lock level 20. We can probably get that. And we still have the... Lock too complex. Alright. Master's lock. What am I doing? I have an amulet of opening. I don't want to waste my west masters on that. And we still have the... Oh, we lost Caius's ring. That bonus. Uh, and I want to probe. There we go. And now, in the of light, and get my die katana out. You. There is no escape. That actually wasn't that bad of a fight. Of course, some of the 36 lessons of Avec. And... Words and philosophy. Okay. Let's, let's see here what um, he says in his journal. We've struck a bargain with evil. While I am uncomfortable and feel so unease with our current arrangement, I believe these warrens will serve us well for some time. Those who hope to destroy me must be of stout spirit and cunning mind, for if they simply forge ahead in these caves, they will meet a fate far worse than death. When we first discovered these caves, we began our explorations. We were sure we had found a refuge from our enemies. Little did we know, as we pushed into the interior galleries, what we would find. In the final chamber, we came upon the ruined portal to a vast tomb. It's not that vast, it's just a tomb. It's actually a really small ancestral tomb as far as Morwen standards go. At first we were eager to chance upon some riches to fill our coffers, but instead we found ourselves within the nest of deadly creatures. By our wits and skills of arms, we were able to retreat from the dark lair. 
For a time, we sealed the enemy. But the threat continued to nod us. It was Gideon who conceived the plan. Which we present... Uh... Which we presented to the those beings of darkness. In return for our right to dwell within these caves, we provide sustenance for these creatures to assist us uh, in this venture. We have created a lure, a path for bounty hunters and meddlesome folk to follow. The unwary will find themselves in the clutches of a black fate. Morvula is very unhappy with the current conditions, and I'm finding myself concurring. This cannot come to an good end, but we must stay the course until a new safe hold can be found. That's kind of an interesting bit of story behind the setup there. And it worked. It totally worked. I did not actually see it coming. I mean, I saw the area where you could go up there, but I totally didn't realize that uh, it was useful. Alright, let's... Prepare our stuff. That worked well to reduce our carry weight. Oh, we found two more muffins. Awesome. Don't need to eat them now. I've had more I've had quite enough muffins recently. Um so yeah. We completed those two fighters guild things. We should return to Sabbath Mora in time to I failed those. Oh, if I come to an old Dwemer ruin, I have traveled too far. Which is actually right across there. Alright, um... So next, we actually need to head to Voss. Um... I think what the best course of action is going to be... We should head up to Dagon Fell, sell some stuff, and then head out over land to Voss. But for now, we're going to... It's noon. No, we don't need to rest. We are good. What I was gonna, th what I was thinking was gonna happen because they mentioned in the other note that Son was sick. I had a itching feeling that uh, the person that was sick actually had vampirism, and uh, or at least the early stages of it. Speaking of which, we should probably check. No, we were immune to disease, so we can't catch, uh... Uh, vampiric hemophilia. No, it's not vampiric hemophilia. It's, it's... I've read the name of the vampiric disease. But we can't catch it anymore, because we're immune to all diseases, so... Okay, that sounds really bad underwater. So many of those slaughterfish. Bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Uh, not gonna go into the cave at the moment. I think we're gonna head up to Dagon Fell. Just to empty our pockets a bit and... Clear up some weight. I have to remember where the town is. I think it's... I think it's on the northern side of the island. I suppose I could have taken a boat there, but... Why walk? Or why ride when you can walk, I guess. Inverse of the normal silt strider. Sup? Greenback? Huh. Ancient variant. It's an ancestral tomb. We have Dagon Fell should be right over this hill. If memory serves me right.
Ah, there it is. I don't have time for you, rat. I'm sorry. I believe there's just one merchant in town. And, uh, they're at the inn as well. That's the renter's rooms. Actually, no, there's a smith, right? Or no, there's a trader across the way. He was near the guard. Hefnir! Ah, yes, Hefnir. I wish to sell you some stuff. Um... Interesting! You actually have stuff from Solstheim. Like wolf gear. Huh. Wolf armor. Ebony arrows. That seems heavy. Um... I mean, I don't need his his gear. It is light armor, and I'm not good with that. But it's nice to see it. Alright, so... I am going to sell the Nordic stuff and that staff. Both staffs, actually. Um, take the books, too. Looks like you take a little bit of everything. Uh, how about some scrolls? Some less expensive scrolls. Like, I don't need that. Uh, I don't need lesser domination scrolls either. Uh, how about you pay me like 175 ish? Alright, 1175. Okay, I don't know what Bethesda has been thinking about glass armor since Morrowind, but Morrowind did it right. It looks cool, and it actually looks sturdy like armor. Skyrim's alright. Skyrim's glass armor is alright. But <coughs> Oblivion's was just bad. Uh, then again, that was most of the armor designs in Oblivion were just bad. Um, I'll say the alcohol as well, because that's heavy. Morrowind, in my opinion, has some of the best armor and weapon designs out of all of the games. Like, the weapon designs are super realistic, and it actually looks really good in that style. Like, all the claymores and everything, they look like actual Scottish claymores. Uh, I do believe the end of the world... I do believe you sell stuff, right? Just drinks and stuff. Um, you want a topaz? Alright, and sapphires? Nope, you don't buy that. Alright, um, give me 200 for all that. I think I think Morwin's armor and weapons look the best because they're it's understated a bit. There's just nothing too they don't they they didn't try to go too fantastical with it. It's just like here here's an iron curious, it's plain, it's simple, it works. While I do like a lot of the stuff in Skyrim Ow! some of the stuff the higher level gear, I think, goes a little bit too crazy. Like, even the Daedric armor in Morrowind, it just looks like a little bit slightly fancied plate armor with glow, red, red glow. It's not like horns and everything coming off of it and all this impractical stuff. No, it's a very nice set of plate armor. A little bit of 
stop at the rain, I'm trying to talk here and analyze the armor of the game. I hope I'm not too boring with these random monologues about game design and art direction that I do while I'm walking between places. I think you guys actually enjoy it, but let me know. Do you guys like what I when I go on these like little rambles, or would you prefer me just more talking about what's happening in game? I'm always looking to improve my commentary, so any feedback you guys can give me is, is good. Oh, come on, come here. There we go. Let's re level that restoration. And heal a little bit. The rambles are fine. It will be long. It indeed will be long. I expect that it'll be definitely into spring. It'll be, it, it might be like June by the time the series is done. Because we have probably another, okay, so next week I am here. The week after I won't be able to stream because I'll be at home for Christmas over the holidays. Uh, so there'll be a week break. It's going to be mid-January by the time we're done Morrowind. I have no idea how long Oblivion is going to take. We hit level 20 with Restoration. <laughs> Once I have the 40k gold that I need to make the amulet that I want, we can then save up some money and do some restoration training. Though I think I prefer actually casting spells to train rather than actually paying someone. Okay, we're getting closer. This is so much rain. I just won't stop. Hmm. That's an egg mine. I don't need an egg mine. So we're going to be fighting necromancers. So that's probably going to be a lot of skeletons, bone lords, bone walkers, and a bunch of other generally unpleasant things to fight. So I should go in prepared. This is not something I plan on doing. Going in all willy-nilly and just guessing at uh, what I'll need. I don't know if I'll rest though beforehand. With all this rain, that may not be possible. Alright. Water walking. So there's a sunken ship, and I think it's on that island. Yeah, there's the old, like, uh... Towers that the Telvanni mages use. Like the one, uh, by, uh, Nysus. Ooh, can we get there? Come on. Eh, not quite. The 
most annoying thing about the Slaughterfish in Skyrim is the fact that you can no longer attack while underwater in Skyrim. In Oblivion, you can attack all you want underwater. Same with this game. Alright, so we're gonna save here. And we're gonna wait and we're gonna take some potions before running in there. Alright, just about full health. And we'll wait for our fatigue to catch back up. Out of curiosity, what is our current reputation? 19. Alright, not bad. You. I don't need this right now. I need to get ready. You need to get in the zone for necromancer fighting. Alright, are you hostile? I know you're looking at that, but are you hostile? Ah, are you here for the fighters guild? Shall we fight together then against these foul necromancers? Um Alright, so we're gonna put down a hard save here. And say yes. Not that I need the help, but if you have dialogue, I wanna kinda wanna hear it. You've already had one voiced companion in this game. May as well see if we have another one. So far, it's just generic. Now you die. You will die! You summoned an ancestral ghost. Congratulations, you used your daily power. I think this is actually... You will die! Oh, crap, we got a slime again. It didn't freak me out like last time, though. Frost Guardian. The slime has nothing. Okay, I think this was actually a really low-level quest that I just haven't done in a long time. Now you die! Die, Fetcher! Yeah, I literally one-shot the Bone Walker. No, don't go to the tower yet. Entry level. Still. There's that person down there. Uh, I don't like this hallway. Um, cause I can't dodge spells down this hallway. You Enwa! Oh, you're gonna summon a golden saint. Ah! Soon you'll be reduced to dust. I did not like that spell. My, Are you hostile? My victory is at hand. Alright, we got another Golden Saint. Kill the caster. I thought I hit you. I'm so glad I didn't. Didn't want an unfortunate accident. What book were they reading down here? Blasphemous Revenants. Well, that doesn't sound... If that doesn't sound like necromancers, I don't know what does. And then, of course, the theme kicks in. I think it's set to kick in. Like, I think it's... Uh, there's a chance that it kicks in after combat music. As sort of a, a victory... Uh, I'm not going to say tune, but like victory... A little victory tune, I guess. That looks like uh, Daedric. Okay.
Okay, we should uh, actually restore our health this time. Mm. <laughs> oh! Holy crap, that hurts. I have no more restore fatigue. Unfortunately, she died. I probably should have left her out there. Dramora, Lord of Inspiration. I was hoping I could take a piece of his armor. Not Dramora. Yeah, it was Dramora. Why was I thinking Dramora was the wrong word? Hey, London, what's up? <laughs> Hope you are doing well. I didn't actually install the sound stuff yet. I... Meant to do it before yesterday's stream. Didn't have enough time between work and stream. And then I had time today and I completely forgot about it. But I'll, I'll try to get that in for uh, a stream soon. Just chilling out tonight? Well, you enjoy your time. We just fought all the way down to this... Uh, Necromancer's Lair and killed some uh, Daedra. Well, Dramora. That form of Daedra, I suppose. How goes the stream? The stream goes well. It's, it's actually I've been I've been really encouraged by uh, the you guys, all all the people watching. Um, up until recently, whenever I tried streaming again, uh, it, I hard it was yeah, it was hard to get traction again and get people watching. But you guys are actually... I'm really grateful for all you guys watching. You make it a lot of fun. Okay, Ring of Wounds. That's what he used to hit me with. Alright, now that we out of combat. Let us risk a little more light. Um, we're gonna take a lot of these books. Because they're worth it. Almost as much as potions. Wow, that sound gets annoying after a few seconds. Can't unlock that, unfortunately. And steel armor, steel weapons. Actually, no, it's silver. Okay, that's steel armor. And silver weapons. Interesting. And he was a necromancer, somebody an undead. Was he afraid of his own creations? Hmm. It certainly gives it a different take, I guess. Roller coaster tycoon. Oh, that brings back some memories. I never, I never personally played Roller Coaster Tycoon one or two or three. No, I have played three a little bit, but I, I, I would have friends that had it, and I'd go over to their house and we'd. They would play, and I would be walk uh, talking, and I, I was backseat gaming it, and we had fun that way. That's actually how I first played Morrowind, was I went to my friend's house. We would both contribute to the design of a character, and then we'd swap out every 30 minutes. It's on mobile now. Huh. I'm trying to think of some mobile games that I can, uh, too bad Morrowind is. Morrowind could run so well on just the tablet. I'm trying to think of some mobile games to play when I'm home over Christmas break, because I'm not bringing my laptop this year. Great rain. So much rain. Alright. 
Let's get out of the rain. Let's check our journal to see where we need to go. <laughs> True. That is half the fun. So, Fighter's Guild, Tenem's Bounty. Need to go back to Sadrith Mora to turn that in. Fighter's Guild, Necromancer of Voss. That is turned in at the Auld Run. Fighter's Guild. And Vandica's Bounty, I have not finished that. Mud Crab Pests. Don't know where that. I, I need to go ask someone about where that is. The Restless Spirit. That's in Hollowed. I can go there. Um, scrap Metal. I haven't found any more Scrap Metal. Courtesy. That's at Ghost Gate. Um, that's in Vivek. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to use our Recall Amulet to go back to Balmora. And then from there head up to Ald Run to turn in that and while we're there we'll ask about the mud crab pests and then we'll head over to Ghost Gate to uh, talk to the buoyant Agamers about courtesy I have to challenge someone to a concept of wit, poetry and honor so Amulet of Recall Hello, Revere. You actually have your gold back. Awesome. Uh, take the troll bone helm. You can have the soul gems. Well, the books can go to the bookseller. You can have the grief and the danger heart. The amulets and rings. I don't need. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are, yeah, the Dwemer guards. Uh, one of the houses, Manners has them. Um. And yeah, the Bone Mold. Well, there's Bone Mold and there's Dwemer. Uh. One of the in one of the manor houses they use Dwemer armor, actually, uh the guards do. So he, Punchy, you might be referring to that or you might be referring to the bone mold. Uh we'll see when we go up to Ald Run. You can tell me what, what armor you were thinking of. Cause they have bone mold like this in uh Balmora here. All right. I'm actually way more. I. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Now that I actually have a job that I'm at nine to five, roughly, I'm actually on Discord way more often than I used to be when I wasn't on the job. <laughs> uh. Yeah. It's so cruddy. I, I personally actually really like the kind of wiki system where it's just, oh hey, I like that word, I'm gonna, I want to hear more about that topic. Uh, 2k topics? Uh, I'm assuming you'd limit them so it's not 2k topics on every person? Um, I'm gonna rest till healed, which should be about 10 in the morning. Stop interrupting me, you stupid ash zombies. Let me sleep, please. It's 5 a.m. Alright, we'll rest another three hours. So now we can actually go out and sell some stuff. Um, five topics per NPC. Okay. It's not that much, then. If it's just five new things on the side per NPC, that's that's not bad. That's a lot of NPCs.
I know, it's just terrible. Ash zombies waking you up in the middle of the night. It's... I'd wake up early for work in the morning. It's just, it was just... It was bad. <laughs> oh, you meant in the quest log journal thing? So, I mean... It's all alphabetized. I don't use... Uh, there's already a ton. So I wouldn't worry about adding more. I never use that. I just go to quests. So that generally ha gets me closer to the information that I need. I wish to sell you the books of a necromancer. Please accept. Good, you have a lot of gold. Out of curiosity, do you take scrolls? You do. <laughs> Uh, don't need that. Don't need those. Max gold. Because not all scrolls are enchanted, so yeah. Apparently the... The scroll part of the item is uh, outweighs the magical part of the item. Uh, Meldor, I wish to sell you orcish bracers. Um, I believe that's all. And could I buy some of these journeyman hampers? Not not too many, just like four. And give me some fifty. All right. Now for loud noises. We should really trim down the amount of magical items we have on us. Um, which sectors, London, are you talking about? I mean, the Balmore textures don't look bad at all. Uh, I want to find someone to sell my scrolls to. Ah, yes. Gelbadir. She'll take enchanted items. I'm actually gonna ask you to uh, enchant something for me later. So I may actually want to buy... You don't have that many good souls in soul gems, do you? See, that scamp soul, I might use that, actually. Uh, alright, so, scroll of black, yep, don't need, uh, I have other stuff for that, to drink personality, uh, don't think I'll need invisibility, it's only 30 seconds, don't need to summon a scamp, don't need a frost shield, swift swim, no, nope, nope. And nope. MTX? What do you mean by MTX? I am unfamiliar with that acronym. Slow fall, chameleon, keep. Microtransactions. 
I honestly don't think so. If anything, they'll just continue with the Creation Club stuff, and I think they'll have that from day one, uh, instead of having microtransactions. Though, it depends on if you count the Creation Club as being microtransactions, I guess. Because they, they, they seem bigger than most microtransactions. They're, they're like five, ten bucks a thing. So. Um... Hort Led's Rope. Uh, a robe. Mojo Rising. Welcome. To chat. Welcome to the stream. Hope you are doing well today. <laughs> yeah, there is that as well. So I don't think microtransact. We don't need to worry about that. If people want to worry about the Creation Club, then I guess uh, they can worry about Creation Club. I don't see it as being an issue at all. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The they are <laughs> rumored to be working on new IPs, which are rumored to be released before the next Elder Scrolls games. So, eh? I I don't know. Game of Thrones was never confirmed. Actually, none of nothing has actually been confirmed. But they're gonna have to. Uh, they're gonna have to announce something soon because they have nothing else to. Uh, they have nothing else to to uh, announce right now. There, there's no or nothing else to release. There's like a little bit of. Uh, DLC, I think, for Wolfenstein, and then there's Elder Scrolls Legends, which is getting a few updates, probably. I haven't actually announced any updates for that. And Elder Scrolls Online. But other than that, they have nothing, even publishing-wise, that they're, they've announced that is coming out. Uh, everything's out already. So, I have a feeling they're, they're due for some big announcements at some point. A lot of announcements. <laughs> Total cost, 500. I sold you so much stuff. Look at all that. And you're... Uh, it's a scamp soul. I will pay f 480 for that scamp soul. <laughs> there we go. So now that actually helped reduce our clutter in our thing a, a lot, which is nice. Our magic menu is a lot less cluttered. Uh, there is some stuff that I did want to store back at the house that uh, I don't want to sell. Stuff from the previous uh, incarnates. I guess they were false incarnates because they died. But... Uh, I'll be some storing some stuff there, and then we're gonna go up to Aldrun, and then over to Ghost Skate. Oh, I also have that raw glass that I can store here. I think we're up to like six. Nope, that's. We have ten pieces of raw glass. Ten pieces of raw glass. I'll take that. I will take it. Alright, um... I can keep that for possibly later. And then... Let's see. Ring of the Hortator. Don't need right now. Peak Star's Belt. Don't need... Mage ring, don't need. What house do I have this time? Uh, this is just Caius's house. He's left uh, for the Imperial City, so he doesn't need it. Uh, I haven't bothered to murder someone for their house, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Great House. Uh, <laughs> poor Guar, I know. Guar, Guar, great. I want to get the plush Guar that Bethesda sells on their web store. It's like 20 bucks. I should just order my, for myself for Christmas. Uh, I'm going to be joining House Veteran. Technically, I've already joined House Veteran, but I haven't done any quests for them yet. Um... Kaisa's black pants. Don't need. Alright, I think that's uh, just about everything. We're done with inventory management. We have our collection of stuff there. We have more stuff in here. But let's go up to Alderaan and... Uh, Turn in a quest, get a new quest, and get more information on the first Rhetoran House quest. Yes, yes, yes. That's right, Silt Strider, we're going on a ride. Yes, yes, I'm sorry you have taken so long. Alright, let's go up to Old Run. See, for me, it's the opposite, uh, Mojo. It's been so long since I haven't played Morrowind with MGXE. That always trips me up when I'm standing right here. Because of the resolution of these textures nearby, I think... I'm up there, because that's where you normally are. So I look down and I'm like, uh... Like a slight case of vertigo. No, the uh, journal topics, what uh, Mojo, what he's talking about, is when you go into your journal, you hit options, there's the quest tab, and then there's the topics tab, which has a bunch of stuff. I personally just use the quest tab. I don't hardly ever use the topics tab. Uh, Fighters Guild, real quick, we'll turn. Crazy Crux, welcome to the chat, welcome to the stream today. Uh, what mods am I using? I'm basically followed the Step uh, Project's Mo Morrowind modding guide for this, plus Morrowind Rebirth, and a compatible grass mod for that. You're not the person I need to talk to. Are you. Yes! Haha! <laughs> you should speak with Loon Helen. Maybe you didn't kill her, but she's dead. You don't know whether to accuse me of murder or negligence. I'm sorry, but there were Dramora. Oh, she ran in. <sighs> she ran in and there were Dramora and she died. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I can't advance any more, blah blah blah. Do you have any orders for me? The Fighters Guild often enacts justice when there is no one else who can. I just received a contract straight from Cyrodiil. I need someone to find the murderer and outlaw, Nerer Baronin, who's a member of House Veteran. He is now the leader of an outlaw band in Sarg. Uh, in Sargon, which is north of Margan, find him and bring him justice. Uh, you might want to ask around Margan. Heard Silas Refuge is on an island well hidden. You said, okay, so the city you give me is Margan, and then you tell me it's on an island? Margan's not near any islands. I mean, you could you could at least say like Cull and say it's northeast of Cull. Fine, 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 fine. We got to go now. Go talk to the Rhetoran Council Chambers. Uh, MGXE is the Morwind graphics extender. Um, 
So it's not really a mod pack, more of just what allows these beautiful shaders. It has, yes, it has that co-op multiplayer, which I think is cool, but it doesn't do it in how I wish the multiplayer would do it, because from what I understand, it all, it basically treats every character as just clones of the same person, so if one person does something like join a guild, then technically everyone's joined the guild. And if, you, if that person completes a quest, technically everyone has completed that quest. Which, I kind of don't like how that's done. You, oh, you can adjust all that. Okay, well then it's better than I thought it was. Well, thank you for correcting me, Mojo. Thank you for proving my ignorance. On the matter. Like, that is some nice armor. I, I do like it. Mixed with the... Uh, I mean, I'm not... The, the skirt's a bit much, but... Oh, you can make it... Okay, so it's all individual. That's nice. That's really nice. Um, I need to talk to you. Because you're the one Can that I help you out? Do you need something? No. Talk to... Blah, blah, blah. Her guar herd is due west of here, just over the hills. Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted this journal entry. To get to Driller... Drillene's herd, head west out of Alderaan and take the road toward Nysus... When you get to the into the hills, take the left fork to the southwest, take the right... Yeah, that's added to my journal. You're thinking of the outside ones. Okay. I mean, I like these guys. I like that helm... I like the, the curious with the uh, cloth on it. I think that looks pretty nice. So we're not actually going to go deal with those guar and rats, I think it is. We're actually going to head to Ghost Gate. Which, I believe... I'm trying to remember the best way to get there from here. It's not on my map yet. Uh... Actually, is that it? Hey, Crazy Crux, thanks for the follow-up. Glad you're enjoying the stream today. Glad you're enjoying it. Always nice to see a new follow. Hopefully you'll come back tomorrow night for uh, more Morrowind. Let's train some restoration as we travel. Come here. Oh, come on. I have a 60% chance of casting this. They are some fancy, go fancy gloves I have. Yeah, I'll be streaming it on Friday as well. So we have the Fist of Randigulf right and Fist of Randigulf left, which are amazing. We're also wearing the Lord's Mail, and everything else is Ebony, and then Serrano, Ebony Helm, which we got clearing out the Serrano uh, Ancestral Tomb for one of early Fighters Guild missions. Unfortunately, with this helm, uh, it's a modded texture, and our face is missing while wearing it. Recruit class, yes. Uh, custom class that I made for the backstory of the character. Which is, we were a recruit in the Imperial Legion. Oh, for starting at the beginning. We were an orphan uh, growing up in Cyrodiil. Uh, I don't exactly, haven't pinpointed in my head where exactly we, we grew up. I'm thinking more of the Coral area. Uh, but we saw, we, we would see the Imperial legion troops uh, patrolling and we kind of idolized them as a child and then eventually when we got old enough we joined uh, the legion and then while we were recruit we were on a training exercise with a, one of the higher 
ranking officers and uh, well we were ambushed in the night and uh, unfortunately the officer died and uh, one of our friends was on watch um, and was going to uh, suffer for that negligence and, and letting that happen but you were you were selfless you claimed that you were on watch and you, you took the blame for that and uh, then you ended up in, in prison and then they shipped you off to Morrowind sometime later after that so that's that's the general backstory for this character and and the whole the whole legacy title to the series is due to the fact that what my plan is with this character is so we're playing Morrowind now when we finish Morrowind I'm going to be transferring the character into uh, Oblivion and we'll be continuing the story of the character the six years later in Oblivion and going through the Oblivion Crisis as the same character Uh, yeah, do I ever use alternate start mods? I do. I didn't for Morrowind here, but I probably will for Oblivion and Skyrim. To get more continuity between them. And, uh, then once we finish Oblivion, we're gonna move the character over to Skyrim. And, yeah. So all the des decisions and character influences and, uh, stuff we do in this game will carry over to the next one and... We'll just be continuing the story. It'll be one long story between Elder Scrolls 3, 4, and 5. All with the same character. So that is the legacy project. That is the goal of what I'm doing. Uh, and we've only just begun. We're 20 streams. I think this is stream number 20. Into Morrowind, um, we're at roughly about two hours each, so we're about 40 hours into Morrowind here. No, I'm not going to go through Ghost Gate or the Ghost Fence yet. No, that's probably not a good idea. There is that cozy, but there's also the fact that we are Nerevarine. I kind of, I have plans for Oblivion, but. Uh, the original start for Oblivion could work, which could be interesting, because that would definitely have a bit more emotional uh, impact, I think, on the character, seeing the Emperor die like that. Um, but we'll see. Because as far as anyone else and all the other characters in Oblivion know, the Nerevarine has been, I wouldn't say missing, but went off to go see Akavir is, is the uh, official story and hasn't been seen for a while I need the Nerevarian Oblivion mod there exists one? because if there does I want it <laughs> well I want to look into it and make sure that it fits the needs that I would need it to but if that exists... <laughs> okay, it doesn't... It may not exist. Okay. So you just go get my hopes up, Mojo, and then dash them on the rocks. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> it sounds... It does sound like something that should exist. And see, I was, I was kind of curious. I was wondering for a while of how I was going to logically get the character from Oblivion to Skyrim, because that's a 200 year gap. But then, when we were reading one of the prophecies, um, a couple streams ago, in one of the prophecies of the Nerevarine, it mentions Dragonborn, and the, there's also the fact that Corpus Disease, um, means that, uh, age does not touch you or something like that there, there's some wording like that vampire could also be a thing I'm not going to rule it out I mean I'm not going to go purposely become a vampire there is that perhaps you know enough magic to become immortal also we are a she but all the other documents assume he in the prophecies and whatnot. 
It's fine. <laughs> yeah, there's also, like, encased in ice by a sorcerer. There's trapped in a plane of oblivion, like Mankar Cameron's Paradise or something like that. So... There could also be issues with that. Yeah, London, with Akavir and Time, I guess. I have not been to Ghost Gate in this game in a long time. I forgot about these little outbuildings. When, when, when we get towards the end of Oblivion, that's when I'll have to start thinking about how to logically move to Skyrim. But we're only roughly, I'd say, halfway through our time in Morrowind, so that's a bit of a ways off. Alright, so who am I here to talk to? Just a quick look at the journal. Courtesy. The boy into Agamir, Salen Satheri, in Ghostgate, claims that we have no courtesy. Fraud the White asked me to challenge Salen Satheri to a contest of wit, poetry, and honor, and suggested that I grab a book The Red Book of Riddles. Crazy Crux, that is also a very cool way to actually do that. That would, that would be very interesting. So the Red Book of Riddles. This handy book doth contain all di- Wow. I mean, I, I can't even begin to start pronouncing that. But the question, I'll, I'll just read the riddles. It has a tail, a side, and a head. I call it what I call a snake. It has no body and is dead. It must be a drake. Oh, all right. Um, oh, what I, I call what I call a snake would be worm, I think. It has no body and is dead. It must be drake. Interesting. That would explain the lack of skills at the beginning of the game. That would definitely explain that. The question. Poets know the hearts of men and myrrh. But beasts cannot know my heart, you see. This book was written by a bear. The answer? It is not a book of poetry. Hey, Traven, welcome to chat. Welcome to stream today. I would call that a dead snake. Yeah, that makes sense, Cozy. That makes very logical sense. These riddles seem quite odd. The question, I gave you a sock, not unlike a box, with hammers and nails all around it. Two lids open when it knocks. It must have been a great hit. What? What? I don't understand this. I d <laughs> All right, just, just I'm just going to memorize the answers, which is a Drake it is not a book of poetry and it must have been a great hit. It's a snake. It's a snake with a neck. <laughs> they're, they're so bad. Alright. I don't know why... Fra okay, it was Frawled the White that told us to grab that book. I don't think he is the most eloquent of speakers. So maybe he enjoys the book? I don't know. Um, Power of Dusk, lower level. What level am I? Uh, we are currently level 16, approaching 17. Nope. Don't need to talk to you. Actually, uh, what's the latest rumors? Uh, word of advice, stay inside a comfortable city on the 13th of Frostfall. Witches Festival is a holiday best suited for conjurers and warlocks. Celebrate with a bullet glass of Conberry wine. The wise do not wander when dark forces roam the countryside. These are really nice heads on the characters. I do like them. You can find them on the lower level of the Tower of Dusk. Which we are at the Tower of Dusk lower level. Alright, so he is down here somewhere. Ah, this person. So... If you're level one and you have born into the sign of the shadow, here's your glass gear for you. Like glass helm and bracers and Jinx Blade at level one. 
Flash shield. Actually, you can usually take that Jinx blade and kill him with it at level 1. But look at that glass armor. Bethesda needs to take a look at the armor and weapons from Morrowind and just make them like that, but higher poly and better textures for Elder Scrolls 6. <laughs> interesting, Mojo. Interesting. I mean, I just followed the step modding project stuff, which has really high quality things suggested. <laughs> this setup, it wasn't that many plugins. Plugins wise, this is only like 20 ish plugins. It's just a lot of texture and model replacers, uh, is what I'm using. I wish to talk to you, before I talk to you, I wish to talk to you about courtesy. Yes, I said that the Legion had no courtesy, wit, poetry, or honor. I will concede that you have wit and poetry if you can answer contest of riddles. Okay, Mojo. I don't know what it is about Morrowind, but if I... I don't trust the game with more ESP files than necessary. Also, I don't actually do many, like, quest mods and stuff like that for Morrowind. Mainly because I just love the main quest and there's enough factions that I haven't done yet. So I don't actually have a lot of ESP files. Um... There's also not a lot of armored weapon mods that I find for Morwen that I like, so there is that. Now when I play Oblivion or Skyrim, I really run out of uh, space for ESP files. Like, if I'm modding Skyrim, I have 255 plugins, at easily 400 mods total with texture replacers. Uh, as far as issues with the game, uh, it hates me when I alt-tab and it crashes 20% of the time when I start up. Don't know why. Uh, let's get down to the riddles. I will ask you a riddle and you must give me the answer as a rhyme. Our, oh, great, I have to rhyme. I am ready. It must be a drake. Oh, that, okay, so, so I'm guessing, so... Hmm. Huh. Mojo. I find Skyrim Special Edition to be the most resilient in modding. My Skyrim non-special edition uh, crashes every 30 minutes to an hour. <laughs> but it also starts up faster than Morwen, so I tolerate it a bit more. And Oblivion is also kind of sketchy. Fallout 4 was rock steady when I was doing heavy modding on that, so it must be a Drake. Very good. Now for the next riddle. Poets know the hearts of men and myrrh, but beasts cannot know my heart. You see, this book was written by a bear, then it was not a book of poetry. You do better than I expected, but the next riddle is harder still. <laughs> No, SKSC64 is out, Mojo. It's out. It's been out for a month and a half or so. So the, the mods are coming in. Like, you can have Sky UI. Sky UI runs natively now. Uh, okay, but I mean, beta build. Yeah. Sky UI has been fully ported. A lot of the mods are porting over for, a, for special edition. I think it's finished. I mean, when is the it, when is the scripting center not in beta? It's always in beta. It's like the Nexus mod manager. It's always in beta. <laughs> I'm not lying. SKSE64. It must have been a great hit. Well, you have proved me that you have wit and poetry. Perhaps the Legion has courtesy after all. Yes, I admit I was wrong. You have proven to me that the Legion has courtesy. By answering really, really stupid riddles. What do you think about the Nervarine thing? You're the one they called the Nervarine. 
You're a heretic. And all who support you are heretics. You may think imperial law protects heretics, and you may be right. But the temple faithful care little for imperial law. Also, I like his forge. The the whole like shaping of the sandstone for it. I don't know. Yes, Outlander. But it does have what the do like refractory bricks in there, so that it actually might actually hold heat really well. Okay. So it is still technically alpha build. Okay. But it works. And people are actually using it to port mods. So I consider that usable. If people are already using it to port. So. Hmm. Glass long sword. Jinx blade. Oh, it's just the stuff you have on the shelf there. No, I have hammers. I'm good. I don't need to buy anyone. Yeah, I know. I know. It actually could. There, there. You could actually use a version without SKSE. Uh, but it was like version 2.0. Actually, do I need to sell anything to you? No. All right. You always had faith. I I tend to trust people when it comes to stuff like that. Oh, you, okay, okay. I need to talk to this person. Where did you get that Daedric helm? That's what I'm curious about, person. Because I'm pretty sure there's only like four Daedric helms. How long do my streams go? Uh, roughly two hours, and we're at two hours and 27 minutes. So we're wrapping, I'm going to be wrapping it up probably within the next few minutes. Uh, but I stream, uh, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday for sure. Maybe Wednesdays or maybes. I happen to stream this Wednesday. Uh, and weekends are also maybes. But it's pretty often I stream at least one day on the weekends as well. But they're roughly two to three hours. So we'll, I'll be wrapping up soon. Safia, Nevrine, Pertui. Lies and superstition. Why do you defy the temple's teachings? Worse yet, now we may learn that you're an agent of the emperor and an outlaw. I warn you. Just because I talk to you, don't think everyone else will. Others reach for their weapons when they see an outlaw and heretic. I'm trying to remember what... There's the Mask of Death? Mask. Where is that slave? I'm trying to remember the names of them. But, yeah. There's only like four of them in the entire game, I think. But we're just going to go outside, and then I think we're going to call it... Oh, I always read out the dialogue. Mojo. Thanks for the follow. Glad you joined the stream tonight. Unfortunately, we didn't get quite a sync with the two main themes going on. But we are going to leave it here for tonight. Also, if, if you guys want to catch up on any of my past streams, I'm porting them all over to YouTube. YouTube.com slash Thorsand11. Same, same username. So if you want to catch past ones, they're all being uploaded there as well. Um, as well as Twitch VODs, so... There's that. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'll be back tomorrow night at like 7 p.m. my time. So whatever time that is for you, 7 p.m. Pacific is my time. So I'll be back then with more and more ones. So thank you guys all for watching and uh, have a good night.